So this video is going to be about our tool change optimization block in our conversational programming. Here I've got a program written to do a single part or a group of features on a part and then I've patterned that into 12 different locations. If you know anything about the Herco control you know that when you pattern something it typically will do everything before it goes to the next location or pattern. And in this case it's going to be doing milling, drilling, chamfering, and tapping, then go to the next one. Well, if I'm doing 12 of these and I'm going to complete one entire group before I go to the next one, that's way too many tool changes. So I need to have a way to um, program this so I don't have as many tool changes and I don't want to have to change my programming method where I do everything with tool 1, then everything with tool 2, then everything with tool 3, and so on. So the way that I do that is I just simply copy and paste and create the program that I need in whatever order I need them. Then I'm going to optimize the program. The way I do that, first of all, if I go to the tool review screen, there's a button here called tool change review. And you can see that inside the pattern block, the inside the pattern rectangular and the pattern end, block nine there, everything is done inside that pattern, which means it's going to do everything before it patterns. That's not what we want. So if I go back to the program, and at the very beginning, I insert a pattern, or excuse me, a tool optimize on block, I, want, I do not want to maintain the programmed tool change op, uh, order. That's what these two questions are for the roughing or the finishing. I want them to be optimized, so I don't want to maintain the programmed level. They default to off and that's what we should leave them at. But then from this block one, tool change optimize on until it sees an end, it will tool change or prioritize and optimize all the tool changes between those two. Now the reason we can turn it on and off is because I may need to change where I put an off block and then put another on block somewhere else in the program to alter behavior and get exactly what I'm looking for. But if I go to my tool change review screen now, you'll see that tool 1 is inside the pattern, then tool 2 is inside the pattern, and so on. So every tool will do every group or every uh, location in the pattern group before it does the tool change. So now if I go to my graphic screen and I hit draw, I'll get all of the milling will done go to the next one without doing the tool change. So if I speed this up, it would continue with all the milling, all of the drilling, all of the chamfering, all of the tapping without doing a bunch of unnecessary tool changes. 